हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द गुड्स इन विच वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द नॉर्मल एंड द इन्फीरियर गुड्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो द नॉर्मल गुड्स मीन्स दोज गुड्स एज द इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर इंक्रीजेस देन डिमांड फॉर दैट गुड्स ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस दोज गुड्स वी कॉल द नॉर्मल गुड्स एंड द इन्फीरियर गुड्स मीन्स दोज गुड्स मीन्स एज द इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर इंक्रीजेस देन डिमांड फॉर एंड इन्फीरियर गुड फॉल्स एंड द इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर डिक्रीजेस देन डिमांड फॉर द इन्फीरियर गुड्स राइजेस likewise we also discussed about the substitute goods and the complementary goods substitute goods means all of you know those goods which we are used as a alternative to satisfy our particular need then those goods we called the substitute goods and the relationship between the price of the good and demand for its substitute good it is always positive and uh, complementary goods uh, means those goods uh, which are consumed together to satisfy our want then that goods we call uh, the complementary goods and the relationship between the price of the good and the demand for the complementary good it is also the inverse uh, means it is opposite students today we are going to take the more information about the shifts in demand students we have already studies about the demand curve all of you know the demand curve we drawn under the assumptions for example the price of the good the prices of the other goods income of the consumer taste test and preferences of the consumer means under all these assumptions we drawn the demand curve then students what happen to the demand curve if all these determinants means the price of the good consumer say income taste and preference of the consumer all these changes then what happen to the demand curve students we will explain it with the help of the diagram all of you know here the other things which remain constant means if the income increases then the demand for good changes at each price and the demand for good also changes so we explain it with the help of diagram see students what i said if the income of the consumer increases the demand also changes means if the price of the commodity increases it is also means demand also changes then what happened to the demand curve we will explain it with the help of a diagram see here
See students in this diagram on the OX axis we measure the quantity demanded by the consumer and on the OX axis we measure the price of the commodity. Then what happened to the demand curve? If the price of the normal goods increases or decreases. See here, for the normal good, all of you know normal goods means as income increases. demand for that good also increase and as income increases when demand for students for the normal goods what happens to the demand curve all of you know normal goods means as income of the consumer increases means it becomes a more then demand for the goods also increases and as the income of the consumer decreases then demand for the normal good also decreases means here the relationship between quantity demanded and the price of the commodity it is the same. So here the demand curve shifts See students, for the normal goods, the demand curve shifts the right word, means the upward. Means here, for the normal goods, the demand curve shifts from D3 to D1, D1. Why? Because here, as the income of the consumer increases, the demand for the normal good also increases. So here the demand curve which shifts to the upward which shifts to the right word. Then what happened for this to the demand curve for the inferior goods? Inferior goods means all of you know. Here, as in the images, then the one for See students what happened to the demand curve for the inferior goods. All of them are inferior goods means those goods. As the income of the consumer increases, the demand for the inferior goods falls. See here. As the income of the consumer increases, the demand for the inferior goods falls. And if the income of the consumer decreases,
bridges make the one point where the good soul rises. Means here there is an inverse relationship between quantity demanded and the price of the commodity. So here the demand curve shifts. Left word. and so increase. So demand for our ships are right now. students, if the prices of the related goods changes, means for the substituted goods. Suppose all of our substituted goods means those goods 
which are used as alternative to satisfy our wants. Then that was we called it. We did substitute goods. And suppose when the price of the goods increases, then what happened? The demand for the substitute goods also increases. So here the demand for work which shifts the right word, it shifts from D to D1. See here, if the price of the good which increases, then demand for the substitute good also increases. So here the demand for work which shifts from D, D2, D1, D1 means it shifts to the right word, it shifts to the upward one. Here, if the price of wood increases, then demand for the substitute wood also increases. And that purpose, the demand for wood which shifts to the right wood, mean it shifts to the upward from D2, D1, D1. And for the complementary woods, What is the complementary goods? Complementary goods means those goods we conjure together to satisfy Particular names. See students, what is the complementary goods? The complementary goods means those goods and services which we use around, which we conjure together. Why? We conjure together because here we wanted to satisfy our particular need. And suppose if there is an increase. In the price of complementary food, then demand for chips left over. Means a shift, sir. Give me to you. Give me to you. See, students, what happens when the price of complementary wood increases? If there is an increase in the price of the complementary goods, complementary goods means those goods which we use together because here we want to satisfy. Our needs and that purpose we means a conjure the goods together. So if suppose there is an increase in the price of the complementary goods, then demand curve also shifts. Means it shifts left over from D to D2. See here, if the price of the complementary goods which increases, then demand curve shifts the downward, it shifts be left over from D D to B to D to. Why the demand curve shifts the left over or the downward? Because here the relationship between the price of the commodity and the quantity demanded of the complementary goods it is the inverse. It is the opposite. So here the demand curve which shifts the downward from D to D to D to. So students, this is all about the shifts in the demand curve. Means here, if the other things are remaining constant, means the income of the consumer 
then the tastes and the preferences of the consumer these all are the constant then what happened to the demand curve we explained this with the help of the diagram and in this diagram we explained what happened if the prices of the normal goods sorry if the income of the increase consumer increases then demand for the normal good also increases and the income of the consumer decreases then demand for the normal good also decreases so here the there is a change in the demand curve as the income increases for the normal good the demand also increases so the demand curve shifts the right word means it shifts to the d to d d to d1 d1 likewise for the imperial goods if the income of the consumer increases then demand for the imperial goods falls and if the income of the consumer decreases then demand for the imperial goods rises means there is a inverse relationship between the price of the commodity and the quantity demanded so here the demand curve which shifts the left world means here now dd to d to d1 and uh, suppose if the prices of the related goods changes here the related goods means the substitute goods and the complementary goods and suppose what happen if the prices of these related goods changes to the demand curve all of you know the substitute goods means those goods which we use as alternative to satisfy our wants and if the price of the good increases then the demand for the substitute goods also increases so the demand curve which shifts the right word means which shifts the upward from d to d1 d1 is for the substitute goods the demand curve which shifts the right word and for the complementary goods complementary goods means those goods which we consume together to satisfy our particular needs and as income increases or as there is any increase in the price of the complementary goods then demand curve which shifts the left over means why it shifts the left over because there is an inverse relationship between the quantity demanded and price of the commodity so students this is all about the shifts in the demand curve here for the normal goods the demand curve shifts right word for the inferior goods the demand curve shifts the left word left word means down word and for the substitute goods the demand curve shifts the right word and for the complementary goods the demand curve shifts the left word so in your examination then we ask this question for the six mark explain the shifts in demand curve with the help of the diagram then that time you should write the answer like this hope all of you understood this concept thank you